Hi, Soul Family. We're gonna do a, we're gonna try to do a quick reading. You know, I, I always intend that we do them quickly and the sun's already going. I don't know, what time is it? It's 4.22, so I was working today. Um, I ordered my staple gun so that I can get moving on my little trailer, but I've had a little difficult time sleeping. You can still see, I've got big suitcases under my eyes. Um, last night, I was laying there laying there for hours and at 4.30, 4.15, I was like, oh my God, seriously? My right foot was freezing cold. Cold feet, somebody's got cold feet about moving forward. And I, I touched it and my foot didn't feel cold, but I felt like my foot was freezing and I couldn't get it warm. It was the weirdest thing. And then I entered into my uh, unfortunate lucid dream state where I got to go with uh, a bunch of people, drunken people at a party, and it was not where I wanted to be. <laughs> so I thought, all right, uh, I'll take the day and I'll just work uh, and I'll just, because I was going to go down and work on the little odds and sods of the trailer, but it's cold today. The wind is cold and there's a message in that. The winds are shifting and there's a cold breeze blowing right now. So energy um, with people is tumultuous and they're feeling um, frigid. I'm getting frigid. I'm literally looking at blue crystals and it's cold and it might be misunderstandings. It might be people like going like this. You know, I, I was, uh, I'll give you something to choose from first and then we'll continue. Um, the first item is the, one of my walking sticks. I couldn't think of what to choose. And that's the message actually that I'm getting. Somebody is, is, doesn't know what they want. They don't know how they feel and they don't know what to choose. So, I, th I thought, all right, well, I'll just walk around and whatever calls me, I'll, I'll, I'll go to that. And that's a message though. A lot of times people will sit around and they want to hear from somebody and they say, well, then they'll have to call me, but you've got to do something about it. I had to choose it, right? I had to look at it and go, okay, I choose that. It drew my attention and I chose it. So on this, we have Ganesh, Lord Ganesh, the obstacle remover. We've got a lion, a silver lion. Silver is purity, um, purifying, right? It's got these Native American beads here. It's got a crow feather. It's got a couple crow feathers. Crow is talking about the trickster. Um, I got message a message today that when you see the crow, what have you been doing? Who have you been talking to? Look around. Um, there's someone that's deceiving you. It could be yourself, lying to you. Um, I also got that for the vulture, so um, it was interesting. Uh, the vulture is death, transformation, and rebirth, but I started to think about that movie, The Secret Life of Cats and Dogs, and there was a vulture that was chained up, and the girl was trying to help find her friend, and so she went to this one and asked this one for help, and the vulture said, sure, if you could un untie me, and when she went to untie them, the vulture went to lunge at her to, to kill her, and stop themselves, but they were a predator. It was naturally within them to do that. So that was the message to myself when I saw the vulture came very close to my window. So it was telling me that one's a predator, right? So stay away from that. So the next, by saying that, then we've got this one saying, I surrender, hands up, I surrender. This is actually a money cat. And uh, you have this cat near you and it brings good fortune in apparently. That's the, that's the, the gist of it anyway. My mom always had a money cat. Hers was white though. And I just saw this and I thought, oh, it's cute. It's cute, it's like my landlord's cat. Ooh, yeah, message. Um, so then there's that. And what else? What else can we choose from today? It's difficult for me to pick out something new every single day for us to choose from. The wind chimes, can you hear them? The wind chimes. I've got wind chimes all around my house. Oh, come on, there we go. Wind chimes, they're everywhere. They're freaking everywhere. You can hear them. So wind chimes will be air, air element. The walking stick is earth element. The, did I pick anything else up? Probably hadn't picked anything else yet, right? Okay, this card, I got this card from my friend Barbara. 
I was walking around and it's a Christmas card. You know, my Christmas stuff should be down, but it's not at this point because I don't know. I just got it and it's cute. And uh, I'm asking spirit where I'm moving because I'm moving apparently. And I'm getting ready to, to get out of here. And uh, I'm, I'm watching for all, all signs and messages. So I looked at this and I said, you know, I love Sedona. Clearly everybody knows I love Sedona. But, uh, and Sedona gets snow. They don't have a lot of trees though. I said, I wish I could find a place like Sedona that had more trees. So this will be water element because of the frozen snow, frozen tundra. Um, and then we will choose from the pair of quail. <clears throat> Makes me think of when I was in Sedona, actually. They're all over the place. And when they, 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 they are actually a, a bird that says danger, danger. They alert you to danger. And there's a pair. And what's interesting about this pair is you see their bodies, right? They've got each other's back. One's facing in one direction, one is facing in the other direction. So they're, they're, this one says, I'm, I'm looking behind, this one's looking ahead, so they're safe. They're, they're a couple that, when they're together, they've got each other's back. I like that. <clears throat> so what do we have? We had, so that'll be fire element. Hmm, interesting. Well, that would make sense. Passion, right? Love, protection, fear. <laughs> that would all be passion. Fire. Okay, so, um... I was talking about something, but it doesn't really matter. I wanna, I wanna move along. And that's the message. I was talking about something, but it doesn't really matter, I wanna move along. So everything I say means something, right? Uh, last night I, I did a reading with my girlfriend and we swapped cards and I used the Vampire deck and the Sacred Rebel deck because I'm so tired. I've had my energy just sapped. And it, I said, I felt like I, I, somebody had literally drained the blood out of my body. I was that, I, and I didn't realize how a toxic environment creeps up on you and you don't realize what's happening to yourself. And this is very toxic here for me, it just is. Uh, I had my friend Ryan uh, check, he, he came in energetically and you know looked at the Google map and he said, look at the image of, over the house, right toward the end of the house. And there was a, there was, he says, get out of there, get out of there. And I like, I know, so, and it's interesting because as soon as I made my decision, you know, yes, I'm, that's what I'm doing, I'm planning on going, all of a sudden things started moving and I've been getting nothing but move, 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 you're moving, you're moving. Um, so the decks that we want to work with are going to be, I guess, song right now, where do you want to go? What do you want to risk? <laughs> I'm not looking for somebody with superhuman gifts. I'm looking for someone like this. Where do you want to go? Because <laughs> we're going somewhere. Oh, okay. That's what I was going to say. So I found it interesting that um, I knew that the crows, uh, to me, the crows represented something. They're thieves. They represent. So I was having my energy stolen. So I was seeing the crow, right? Um, but it was even more so because I saw the vulture, which is the predator. And so I was thinking of the secret life of cat, cats and dogs. So that one, they ended up working together. They ended up helping one another, but that one couldn't help themselves. They just kept wanting to go after the girl, right? Um, the vulture did. Couldn't quite control themselves. And uh, I, I thought, you know, for me, the animal messenger that would talk to me about wisdom and, and deception and seeing through the illusion would be the owl. And that's literally what just popped up first was the owl calling on the great horned owl. And uh, it's about opening your inner sight and seeing through the deception in front of you. And it's about letting the past go and making room for something better. We deserve better, right? We deserve better. So we're gonna start with the walking stick. What's so funny about these walking sticks is <clears throat> I see people coming down the mountains all the time and they've got walking sticks and I think, oh, that's such a good idea. And then I pick them up and they bother me the whole time. They're like ski poles. I can't stand skiing with poles. If I ski, I have one pole. I don't board, uh, snowboard, which I probably should learn. But they're in my way. Now, if you're coming down a really steep slope, they're, they probably end up being good, but they're a pain in the butt. So um, the folding ones are good. So I have all these walking staffs that are really cool. And I've got them wrapped. I've got them over there. I've got the one with the bear on it. <clears throat> I've got Native American. I've got them everywhere. <laughs> they come home with me. But I don't use them. I, I don't know what it is. It's interesting. <sighs> Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the walking staff, and I did, <laughs> even though I don't use it. Oh, 
I love this one. I've never seen this. Dear love, oh, oh my dear, be gentle with yourself. You heal with the power of love. See the light in all things. You know, I was talking to my girlfriend last night and I was saying that uh, I, I did this clearing uh, cord cutting meditation. It's my favorite. Um, I shared it on my page. And uh, it was quite extensive. It was long and I did a, um, I did a spell. And it's interesting because I don't like, it's, I didn't think of it as a spell. It was more to me as it was an intention. My girlfriend said it's called, a, it was a protection spell. And I thought, I don't like spells, but I do like protection. So I did, I lit a candle and I called in Archangel Michael and we did this. Um, I did my own that I always do, you know, calling in Archangel Metatron to help clear and balance my chakras, asking the father to fill me with unconditional love. And when, um, if you guys do this meditation, I put a link in, in the video. You are take, you're being asked to choose from three different places, ice fields, a field like grass fields or sand. There's nothing but ice or nothing but sand or nothing but grass as far as you can see. And then you are to think of people, places, situations where that upset you, that were bothered, that, that bothered you, that hurt you, that were, that were traumatic for you, that you wanted to cut away, the cut cords to that situation, person, place or thing. So I go through the whole thing and I'm, I'm literally, when I did my Reiki healing, I, I did Reiki and I ended up sending Reiki out to all of these ones that I know were hurting me. The ones that I, I just, I did that. And I thought maybe I'm, I'm attaching my own string to these people because I'm helping them when I should be literally letting them go, right? Like detaching from them. And so I posted something. This is your, this is part of your reading. So don't say, oh, she's talking, talking. This is part of it. Um, I saw never lie to an empath. They tune into the frequency of truth. And I'm an, clearly a, uh, an empath. I'm an indigo empath. And I will tell you straight up, that's not the truth. In fact, um, it's actually very untrue. Many, many empaths are quite innocent and actually lie to themselves because of their empathy. They choose to see the good in others and are often victims of narcissistic manipulative liars. We need to learn to love ourselves first, not allowing others to use and abuse our unconditional love. Boundaries must be respected, ours first. So I'm looking at the deer and the gentle deer and I was, you know, I did that uh, meditation with, and when at the end of the meditation, Michael comes down, however you visualize him coming down with his sword and I suddenly started getting extreme pain right in my belly button area, behind my solar plexus, right? Now you might immediately think, oh, it's a lack of self-worth. No, it's not what it was. It was literally somebody was attached to my umbilical cord. And I screamed out, mom. And I thought, what the heck? It wasn't a problem between me and my mom. It was a problem between somebody who's connected to me and their mom. And it was like somebody was feeding off of me like I was their mother like I was their umbilical cord, which is exactly what was happening. I was having the energy drained from me. And it hurt so bad when he cut the cord, when he pulled it out, and it took about, I mean, I had to rub my stomach. It took about five minutes before the pain went away. And uh, the deer energy is, you know, being kind and gentle with yourself. The deer talks about, whenever I see the deer, I think about you're coming out of a difficult time and you're not quite sure where to put your foot, so you walk gently on your path. You're going into a situation you're not quite sure about, so you walk gently on your path. Everything to do with deer is gentleness. They're very, very sensitive. And you don't push a deer, you don't scream at a deer, you coax a deer gently. And what's interesting is I'm looking at these little birds that this baby deer is looking up to, and they're chickadees. Remember the story I told about the chickadee that told the lie? Told that little deer a lie. It was a Native American proverb, and this boy told a lie. Caused a lot of problems. And I got a message that somebody is wanting to apologize to someone. They want to tell them the truth. They've been wanting to tell them for a really long time. It's been years, actually. And uh, you might be surprised when the, when the apology comes in, you'll be like, what? Like, why now? It's been forever. But the deer speaks about being alert, being cautious being intuitive, being sensitive, but we talk about empath empathy 
And oftentimes, like I said, we lie to ourselves. We say, no, you know, we want to see the best in everybody. Here I am sending out Reiki healing to these people that are attacking me. Right? Um, it's not my job to jump in and fix somebody. It's my job to protect myself and those who want to do what's right and are trying to um, change aspects of themselves and they ask for help. That's who we're there to help. We're supposed to lead as an example, not jump into the mud puddle. So a dear person is asking you right now to be watchful, to be wary, um, because that, that's what keeps you safe. They're telling you that there is adventure ahead. There is. They're telling you that if this is your totem animal and if you chose this, this uh, message, it most likely, it, well, it will be, it's either a temporary totem of yours or one of your permanent totems. You have um, a knowledge of, tr of, of fruits and, and fruits and vegetables and um, elements of the earth. You're, you're knowledgeable with that. And this plant knowledge is essential in healing yourself. Heal or heal thyself. So as a dear energy, you might have felt victimized. Others have taken your kindness for granted. They have, they have walked on you. Um, it doesn't mean that you're weak. It doesn't mean that you are pathetic. It means you're empathetic and loving and kind. And they didn't respect your boundaries. So you're being asked right now to not necessarily invoke the energy of the deer, but of the stag, the royal stag. The royal stag is protective and they have strong territorial boundaries. And so this is what it's being asked for you at this time. The deer people will know who their enemies are. They'll, they'll know that there's something that's not quite right. They're hard to fool that way. They know there's something off, right? But you might have forgotten about your safe haven yourself, a need for that. You might have opened yourself up too wide. You might be getting ahead of yourself. So Spirit's saying with gentleness, it's, it's about caring for yourself. Like I'm exhausted, right? So I spent a lot of time. Um, Spirit was wonderful and I got, my phone, as soon as I made my decision, I'm, I'm out of here. My phone started ringing like crazy and I've been slam busy all day with work, which is great because you know, it's only 4.30 and my day's done. So I can spend the rest of the day just being relaxed. So right now, remember I said my stomach started to hurt, right? And then last night it was rumbling and I thought so odd because I know it's someone else's energy that I'm, I'm connecting to. But they're saying that your digestion might be upset. Your stomach might be upset. There might be too many varieties that you're taking into your body. You need to simplify and bring it back down to just a few. It's really interesting. I, I made fun of myself. I make fun of myself a lot. And I say that I'm a squirrel because I eat the same things all the time. And for, for a while I was, you know, it was all about peanut butter and apples until I realized how fattening peanut butter was. <laughs> but um, I don't really have a, a large variety of, of what I eat. My, my body is used to eating, you know, I'm like a cat, right? I, I, I have that kind of um, way of eating and that's what they're suggesting for you. But they're asking you also, because this is a question for myself, well, what do I do about that person? You know, what do I do about that? And they're saying, set boundaries. Do not allow anybody to abuse you or your, or your boundaries, period. It's about loving yourself. Now, this time, I'm going to remember to do our positive affirmation along with each message. So we're going to go to... We're going to go to the Healing Angel cards. I like these. And you know what? I said to myself the other day, why are we not using my deck? We haven't used my deck. I'm like, I use everybody else's deck and I'm not using mine. So we'll start with my deck. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the walking staff, there's three bundles, um, all of 111 cards. So it's called 333, The Naked Truth. I got to get these cards done. I thought about that the other day. You started this and you didn't finish it. And I'm not normally like that. Aries are, are actually known for that, but I'm not normally like that. It's like my trailer, right? I start something, I want to get it done. But this is something that I was working with somebody and she dropped the ball on it. And so it kind of just got put by the wayside. But it's something that I, I need to do. So correct for neutrality on all levels. If, if, is there one in this bundle? Yes? Okay. Can you show it to me? Can you drop it? Because I don't want to choose it. I want you to drop it for me. I dream of you all the time. And the song right now, even when I'm with my boo, all I think about is you. 
I dream about you all the time. And I got mad when I first heard this song. It offended me. I'm like, don't be dreaming of me if you're with somebody else. But their boo was their best friend. Even when I'm with my boo, all I think about is you. I dream of you all the time. Any more in this deck? No? Okay. So then we go to the next one. Correct for neutrality on all levels. You know what's kind of a ripoff for me? Is I'm showing other people, the other, other faces um, and names for other people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if it's my daughter, I'm showing somebody else's face. I know it's my daughter, but they show me somebody else's face. Like, why is that? It bugs me. So they're trying to show me um, something about the character of that person, I think. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. I have known since the day we met that you were for me. And then number five. Five is the fifth of the month, five days, five hours, five minutes. Um, five says, I'll, I'll, I'll read it to you out of angel numbers because five is always significant of, uh, in the tarot, it's significant of problems, like challenges, uh, issues, right? Fighting, disruption. But in angel numbers, it just is talking about a significant change. So it's always occurring for the better. And why is it occurring? Because it needs to occur. So something needs to change. It's always for the better. So call on spirit for help with, with the changes that you're going through. So there's your message. All right. There's your sign. No more, I heard. Okay, good. Because we're going to do an affirmation. Correct for neutrality on all. Not an affirmation. This is a, um, I did want to do affirmations, but I picked this up. Healing Angel Cards by Tony Carmine Salerno. Sacred knowledge. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. Feel the peace within. Beyond your thoughts lie your eternal truth. I am presence of eternal love. Protection. Three fell out. You are safe. Do not fear. We are always with you and surround you, always with our invisible wings of light. Diversity. The world would be a boring place if we were all the same. Celebrate your uniqueness. You're special and you're very loved. Much. Now, what I wanted to bring out was... Sometimes spirit will allow things to continue until we understand what's going on. So what was happening with me, my body was being drained energetically because I needed to see what was going on, that my environment is toxic for me and I need to leave. No matter how comfortable I might be, it's not a good place for me to be. It's affecting my energy adversely. And so they, they allow us to go through it until we figure it out what's going on and once we figure it out and we make our decision okay i'm gonna go then then it doesn't have to stay that way right then we've learned the lesson okay so now we're gonna go to the wind chimes which is air element same deck links i knew it keeper of secrets okay so now this time we're reading the card in a different way the last time we got the links, we were shown that there's times to keep secrets. I mean, to give secrets, to tell the secret, right? But the links is known to be. So every time I see the links, I, I hear Keeper of Secrets. And I was looking at Willow on my bed, and she looks like a lynx, her, the fur on her, on her bed. She stays right next to my side. The Keeper of Secrets. So it's telling you to take out time right now and watch. They want you to be observant. Be the observer. I heard in my head years ago, I like to observe. It keeps me from getting in trouble. Nothing is going to deceive you when you're watching. If you're not talking, right? You're, you're not, you're, talk less, listen more. Trust what you're getting. Your, your higher self, you know something's off. You'll see the secrets and you don't have to tell them. You just keep them. Put them in your pocket. And then when you're in silence and you hold those secrets in, you've got information. So it's about being aware it's talking about your clairvoyance your your in, innate intuitive abilities um the lynx is a shaman's totem they're so beautiful they're freaking gorgeous solitary ones that live in the mountains and in the cold north which is interesting very much like my snow leopard right here's my snow leopard love this guy that's what it's about my bed so the lynx and the snow leopard cousins i just heard so they spend a lot of their life alone, out of sight. They're in the shadows. The ultimate introvert. And sometimes people misunderstand them and they think that because they're shy that they're stuck up. 
I talked about this the other day. I wasn't allowed to associate with anybody in school because I was a Jehovah's Witness and I wasn't allowed to have them as friends. So I kept myself very remote and other people thought I was a real bitch or I thought I was, thought I was better than them and that wasn't it. I would have loved to have had friends. I just wasn't allowed. So Lynx people, they watch and they observe a lot. You know, they're, they're introverts. They're, they're comfortable looking. They're comfortable watching. They're not as comfortable speaking. Um, they, because they, are, they, they observe a lot, they see things that others don't right and you can see on the tips of their ears that's like their psychic antennae and it's very difficult to to deceive a lynx because they can hear what you don't say like the great like the great horned owl right they're you're telepathic if you're a lynx you're called the mystic and if you've got your mind's a mess a million things going on in your head, you're not gonna be able to hear what your voice, what your voice inside is trying to say to you, right? So you need privacy, you need secrecy as your medicine. So you go into the quiet and you process. Patience and silence are your friends. Song right now, the wolves came and we're still standing. When the bones are good, the rest don't matter. I love the song. Um, you like to spend quiet time in reflection. It, it, it feels good to you. It feels like an Aquarius sign to me, like an element. My father's like this. So if you don't get enough alone time, it, it, your nerves are frayed, right? You need that quiet time. I, I get that way, right? This, this is an air element. Didn't I, who is this? Air. This is air. This is so perfect for air elements, right? This is in, in your head, the cerebral very um, knowledgeable thinkers. And they, they need to have this quiet time. The, this Lynx is saying right now, don't tell the secrets that you shouldn't. Don't tell the secrets that you shouldn't. Has the cat got your tongue? Silence is your friend. So they want you to regain your balance and you regain your balance by going into your space of solitude. So I'm going to go to my deck. This song is, is pretty interesting. It's, it's this pair. Correct for neutrality. When the bones are good, the rest don't matter. As long as the foundation is firm, you can work around the edges, right? You can repair all the, the other stuff that happens. Because like they said, the storm came and went. And we're still standing. The wolves did their damnedest. Oh, wow. Look at that. There is still time to fix things is the message. Stop enabling them. Let them learn. It's their karma. Let them learn. A lot of times, like I said, empaths, we lie to ourselves and we become the victims. We're wanting to help other people, but other people, they're not going to learn. It doesn't mean that they're all bad people, but if we constantly enable and bail people out, they're never going to learn their lesson, right? I said, spirit needs to let us learn our lessons. And once we figure it out, then we don't have to learn that lesson again. So there's still time to fix things. Stop enabling them. Let them learn. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Correct for neutrality. One more? Two more, I heard. In this pile? No. Okay. <laughs> Correct for neutrality on all levels. This pile? Correct for neutrality. I gotta get these in order. <sighs> Show me, pop or, pop or drop it. Correct for neutrality. Show me. It was pretty nice actually when, uh, uh, like I said, I, I knew that something was going on. I was, I said, I've got a psychic attack happening, energy vampire and I need help. And I, I've called Archangel Michael to, you know, shield and protect and I said, but I needed somebody else to come in so I called my uh, brother in Sedona, uh, in Sedona Ryan. Um, he's a spiritual person. Uh, he's uh, he and I dream together when I when I'm there at his place. And he's a he's a light worker and a, a warrior. He's pretty amazing, and he's able to see. He's able to see the the spirits on all the dimensions. And so I I just text him because I'd had psychic attacks psychic attacks before, and he saw who it was and it was who I thought it was and. 
um, he reminded me, you know, you need to calm down because I was swinging. I was so mad at what was happening. They were clawing my neck. I literally watched claw marks go across my, my neck and they were going up to my face. And so I was getting pissed. And he told me, you need to calm down. And I said, I'm gonna, I said, I, and he said, you're, you're much more powerful than that. And I said, I know I am. You know, and he says, but then you need to calm down. And I said, if I'm, he says, because she's kicking your ass. She's kicking your ass because you're getting upset. You need to stay calm. So I have never lost it again when that's begun to happen. I was very, very calm, but I said, hey, you know, in the last many, many times I tried to get a hold of him, he doesn't bother responding. He's very difficult to get a hold of. And even when I go to Sedona, he's not around. He's usually out of the city when I'm there. And uh, so I contacted him and I said, hey, you know, I'm, something's going on and I'm wondering if you could take a look around for me because I have no energy left. I feel like I've had all the blood drained out of me. And he answered me five minutes later. And like I said, he took an aerial view. And he says, go to Google Maps and show it to me. And then he pointed it out. He goes, what do you see? And I'm like, yeah, he goes, see that image? It's telling you something. It's a, he says, you're, you're in like a vacuum. And it's just, it's, there's nothing good there for you. There's nothing there that you need to do. You, you, your job is done. Basically why you went, your job is done. There's nothing there for you to take care of. Others will move forward. You need to get out. So it, what, what I'm bringing up again, why I'm saying this is because we need to ask for help, but then we need to act on it, right? It's not just, you know, okay, I asked Archangel Michael, but we have, we have light workers as well. We have spiritual soul family as well. My girlfriend Kimmy was, you know, helping me with um, different um, meditation, different, um, in, what is the word, intentions as far as shielding and protection too, right? There's a lot of things that we actually can do. So it's, you know, I, I'm an energy mover myself. So it's, you know, angel, angel. Um, heal or heal thyself, right? Don't just count on everybody else to do it. And don't just say, oh, God save me and sit in my living room, right? You do what you need to do as well. We're showing how to protect ourselves in different ways, you know, calling your team. And don't feel, I, I didn't feel like I wasn't capable. I didn't feel less than because I called on Ryan and asked for help. I needed help from somebody else that was outside because I was weak. I literally had no energy. You guys and look at me. I have, you know, it's been killing me for the last several weeks. So the last few, few messages for this one is, two drinks and a room is perfect. <laughs> you look as good as the day I met you. Wow. And you are safe. Nice. Nice. Okay. And then the healing angel. What is the card for the air element? Correct for neutrality. Somebody right now um, has been in a difficult situation and it's been shown to them or people have said to them that, you know, they're going to be after you everywhere you go. And, and they're actually quite paranoid. And the truth of the matter is it's not as bad. They're, they're implanting that in your head so that you don't go. It's really not that bad. Um, and I'm not afraid of, of, I was energetically being drained, right? So I needed to figure out what was going on and stop it. Um, and it was, it was a teaching lesson for myself, right? I can help others that go through it. But um, I'm not afraid of anybody. There's no reason for fear. We're being taught lessons. Correct for neutrality on all levels. There we go. Positive outcome. The sun is about to burst through the clouds and you will soon see things in a different light. Something that you previously, that previously seemed hopeless will soon be filled with nothing but hope. Yay! 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 Like that. Thanks a lot. Um, I'm gonna turn the lights on, we're losing the light. It is staying a lot longer than it has. You know, it's almost five and it was getting dark at like four. That's one thing I don't like about down here. When I lived in Canada, we had such long hours of light. I mean, I, I don't know, in the spring did we? But in the, in, the, in the summer, it was like 11, it was still light. Okay, for those who chose, so we have the wind chimes, we have the walking stick, we had the black cat. For those who chose the black cat, and I did not, correct for neutrality. For those who chose the black cat, who's under arrest, I did not. Correct for neutrality. He said he better surrender. Correct for neutrality. I don't choose the money cat. Correct for neutrality on all levels. There's a pelican. One, I see one. I don't know if there's any others right now. 
all the cormorants and the ducks. Who else is there? And one giant pelican. Elk, nobility. My uncle used to hunt elk, so sad. So look how beautiful the elk. Mm, they're incredible. Have you ever heard of um, the sound they make? It's incredible. But what's even more incredible is Lake Louise in, in Banff. Um, it's Alberta. Um, it's the most beautiful, magical place. And the elk wander around and the moose wander around in the town. It's pretty amazing. Elk are generally up higher into the interior. But they speak about nobility. Look at those antlers. You want to talk about psychic antennas, right? warrior, leader, virility, endurance. This, this, there, you're being told to celebrate your accomplishments. Celebrate them with humility because you didn't get there all by yourself, right? You got there with the help of many. Um, but you are still being crowned. You know, I, I thought about that today, you know, about my work and I'm saying, I've worked really hard. It's time for this page to grow. And it has nothing to do with me wanting special attention. This is my work. I put a lot of effort into it. I want to see it be successful, right? So, with humility, you are crowned with success and spirits saying that you're being guided by them. That's why your psychic antenna are so ginormous. These, the bull elk is very, very protective of the herd. They will go up against a grizzly bear. Very, very protective. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at those. I mean, a grizzly bear is pretty powerful, right? But look at those freaking antlers. That would freaking hurt. So they can go very long distances. They've got long legs and they can go a very, very, very long distance, but they can't go a long distance, constant, you know, going, going, going. They've got to pace themselves, which is like me, right? Slow down, relax. Um, and the herd split in the fall. And this is when they go into their mating rituals and they get pretty bloody. They get, you know, they go after who they want and it's very, very competitive. So it might be talking to you about aggressive behavior that you need to control. Um, you might need to modify or restrain yourself. I'm um, thinking of the word temperance, right? You're being asked to be fair in regards to your entire tribe, not just you. You're a leader and people look to you for inspiration. And you've got the, the determined and stick to itiveness that you, you never give up. People are looking to you. They, know, they recognize your power and ability right so however you got to think about the fact that it's a bull elk so <laughs> i didn't choose that one right i didn't choose that bullheaded one somebody who's losing their temper if you lose your temper it's time to take time out why because you lose your temper when you're tired you're exhausted or you got too much it's too much going on right so you're obviously not replenishing yourself you're not getting the proper adequate rest and probably not the right kind of food you're not pacing yourself. You're probably trying to do it all, be it all, and it's too much. So if you connect with the, with the gifts that you have and control um, the other aspects, you're going to be very successful because spirit wants you to conquer the challenges in front of you. You've got the ability. Look at that mountain. A mountain is an obstacle, and you can climb that mountain. Correct for neutrality on all levels. This one. It's getting dark quickly now correct for neutrality on all levels for those who chose the black cat correct for neutrality on all levels for those who chose the black cat the money cat Oop, there it is yes they want me but I do not want them see I didn't choose them I want you <laughs> that's the message that might be a message for me too right yes they want me but I don't want them I want you I said I don't choose that that cat the money cat correct for neutrality on all levels there's a black wolf and there's a timber wolf. The only black I choose is the panther. That's my astral element. I'm ready for a new life now. Yay! So am I. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose, I didn't choose the black cat, but I resonate with all the messages anyway. Correct for neutrality. Any more on this deck? Yes? Oh, we're sticking with this one. Okay. We're sticking with this one. Hmm. Correct for neutrality. What I don't choose is the bullheaded control freak, right? <laughs> you are the love of my life. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Next one. Angel. Angels, what do you have to say? What's the healing message? For those who chose the black cat. The one who's under arrest. 
one that needs to surrender. Correct for neutrality on all levels. 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 Ooh, no, come on. You gotta make it pop. Drop it or pop it or we're, there we go. Precious gift. Friendship, family, and love are precious gifts. Do not lose sight of what is most important. And that sometimes is soul family. Doesn't necessarily have to be blood. My soul family is the freaking bomb. You guys are amazing. I don't, I, what would I do without you, right? I don't have a family to help support me. Emotionally, spiritually. I got no problem going, turning to my soul family for help. Uh-uh. Mm, I love that. Um, Shea water with uh, apple cider vinegar with the mother. Mm, mm, mm. Correct for neutrality on all levels. For those who chose the pheasant, I, I always call them pheasant, the quail couple, and I do. Hmm. One of them's got darker hair than the other. I just realized that. Check it out. Makes perfect sense to me. One's got brown hair, one's got almost black. Song right now, I would die for you, baby, but you wouldn't do the same. <laughs> I'd lie my head on a blade for you. I'd hold on to a grenade for you, but you wouldn't do the same. But these ones do, right? We got each other's back. I'm looking out for you. A message. I, I'm better in the silence but I'm working for us, I'm fighting for us. Okay, but that's great that you know that, but it doesn't help when you don't communicate that. Ooh, I love seeing this. I'm glad I chose this. I had the Kitsune come out yesterday for me. The Kitsune, uh, and the message for Kitsune is, um, I will show you who to trust. Uh, the fox, the clever fox, look how cute they are. I love them. They're playful, they're adaptable, they're into camouflage. Look, you can't even really see. If, if you were back here, you wouldn't be able to see them, right? They're smart. And look at that, they're in Sedona. <laughs> they're in Sedona or Utah or New Mexico, somewhere where they've got the petroglyphs. Could be in Australia. You are swift and smart. Solutions to problems are easily found. Always listen to your instincts. Resources surround you. Be open to romance. Yeah, baby! I chose this one. Hell yeah. I'm open. I'm ready. So, I like where they are. Song right now, Don't Break My Heart, Don't Take It For Granted. This is a funny song. It kind of makes me think that we need to listen to it because, well, we can't listen to it because I'll get flagged, but we can look up the lyrics because it goes with somebody who doesn't want to be open to romance, right? So they're telling you to be open to romance. Send me your location. Send me your location. I had somebody call me today and just listen. And I'm like, know who you are because I got the answering machine to the family business. Um, I've had it before, so I know who it was. Send me your location. Let's focus on communication because I just need the time and place to come through. A place to come through. Send me your location. Let's ride the vibrations. I don't need nothing else but you. At times I wonder why I fool with you, but this is new to me and it's new to you. Initially, I didn't want to fall for you. Gather my attention, it was all for you, so don't take advantage, don't leave my heart damaged, to understand that things go a little bit better when you plan it. So what did I say about, you know, it's great that you've got a plan, but you might wanna say something about your plan, right? So the clever fox, swift and smart, you're being told to listen to your instincts, right? You got the resources around you for anything you need. Like I said, I bought my staple gun, I'm ready to roll. Um, I've got, you're clever, you do it yourself, right? You don't sit around waiting for somebody else to do it for you, but you are smart enough to also ask for help, right? And accept it when it's there. So these ones, they are the art, they have mastered the art of camouflage and they have the ability to remain invisible. And like the lynx, they are observers, silent observers. They have to be because it keeps them safe that way. So, but they're also very, very, um, playful and fun and look how loving they are. They're very, very um, connected to their family. They have a very strong sense of a scent, smell. So smell might be something that you pick up and may mean things to you. Like when I get something that doesn't, that doesn't smell right, something doesn't smell right, pay attention to that, right? Pay attention to something like that. 
you're, you're a hard one to deceive. You got a quick mind. And even if you don't pinpoint right quite what it is, you'll know, you know something's up, right? So they've got a very strong sexual expression, structure, a sexual presence. I mean, look at them, they're foxy, foxy. Um, they are very, very loyal. I love that. I'm glad I chose this one. They're loyal to their mate. And what's interesting is um, I spoke about last night when I was, uh, what was the animal that came up? I can't think of which animal it was, but it was talking about how they are, they do well at night. I do, I'm a, I'm, I'm a night owl, right? I'm like the freaking great horn owl. These ones are, are as well. They're able to do a lot at night. They get up early and Mm. I'm hearing different messages. They are the dreamers. They travel between worlds. They're the astral travelers. Which is my panther totem is my astral traveler, right? But the fox is also one. They're telling you you've got everything you need to be protected and have a, a magical loving life. You are not meant to be alone. No, I'm not. Right? Song right now, I needed to lose you to love me. So they're telling you, oh, wow, this is, see, this is incredible. Look out for deception, right? Because they're the cunning ones. They're, they're watching. They're watching the tricksters. They're in between worlds. They're called the magician. So the magician is able to see and be on alert for things that just don't smell right, right? I got to sniff that one out. Has your foxy side led you down the wrong path? Ha, 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 oh, Watch very carefully, pay attention to omens. Hmm. Has your foxy side led you down the wrong path? But, the, but the, what I like about the Kitsune is it's going to, they'll show you who to trust. And if you're saying, okay, I don't feel right about this one, highlight it. I always say to spirit, highlight it, show me right away. If I cannot trust this one, I want you to highlight it for me. And if there's someone that I don't see, I want you to highlight them. Oh, I love, 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 divine intervention. Divine intervention. You may feel frustrated because something stalls or comes to a standstill. Progress seems painfully slow, yet this is a blessing. It's divine intervention at work. When the timing is in perfect harmony, all will come to fruition. My, my, I got stalled on my little camper and I'm like, I want to get the hell out of here. I know that I knew spirit was doing it on purpose, right? They're, they're slowing it down. So when that happens, you get busy doing something else, which is what I was told is you need to rest because when, when you finally get your body to where you're recovered, you're going to go. So divine intervention in order to give you a little time to recuperate. Um, so for our, my little deck, and I mean, it, look out for deception, right? Pay attention, pay alert, be alert. And that's what these little guys are saying. Watch your back. I'm watching your back. I got your back. We're safe together, but maybe not around the ones you're with. Don't trust the offer, it's toxic. Leave. Wow, wow. Don't trust the oxer, oh, the oxer, the oxer. Okay, ox. Totem. I just got frontier communication. Don't trust the ox. Frontier communication so the offer is toxic don't don't trust it I love I mean that that's a freaking that message is like I love it when you get something that loud I mean if somebody just get, made you an offer and you got that message if, thanks no thanks right come on I want it by spirit animals can I see it by spirit animals this one So, strong as an ox, bully, somebody who was a bully, ox, dominant, mm, I got a message this morning. Gimmicks. It's a gimmick. It's flashy. The, 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 the offer. It's, it's, and that's who called me this morning. 
That's who called me this morning. It was like a get rich, just one of those like money market schemes, right? It's a flashy, uh, the offer is flashy. Uh, it's, it's, it's not at all what, it's not dependable, it's a gimmick. And they'll come at you when they, when, when they know that you need their help. When they feel that you're physically unable to do something, but you're not, you've got everything that you need. So look deeper at the ones around you. What else? I'm, I'm getting keywords literally jumping out. Like the ox is a beautiful totem. That's not, but I'm not reading the, the message. I'm just having keywords jump out at me. Procrastinators. Intolerant of procrastination. Intolerant of procrastination in other people. They have, it's hard. They don't work together with others. They don't play well with others. They want a stable environment that someone else gives them. Native American. Earthly wealth. What is the other word? They call themselves a protector. This is a karmic lesson you must learn and then stop. This is a karmic lesson you must learn and then stop. Correct for neutrality. I chose this one. Don't trust the offer. It's toxic. Leave. Teach me how to please you. The person is a strong person, a business owner. Not the, not the one with the toxic offer. A different one. I wish somebody would have told me, babe. One day, these would have been the good old days. I got to where I am now and I look back and look how old we are and I wish I'd put the bottle back on the shelf. I wish I'd, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, right? Because the present, the time is now. It's the present moment. Correct for neutrality, anything else? Whoa, right away. I am ready for a new life now. <laughs> I'm ready for a new life now, not later. Now, correct for neutrality on all levels. Any more in this deck? Wow. So Spirit said to me that I was going to have an opportunity coming, an offer for something, right? And, it, and if I was asked to travel to accept this, but there's obviously, I chose this. So obviously there's going to be an offer and I'm not to trust it because it's toxic. So I'm going to have to have Spirit highlight the one that it is, right? Because obviously we get more opportunities. Yes, please, is the answer. You are the love of my life. Okay. Correct for neutrality. Wish somebody would have told you, babe. Life goes by in a blink of an eye. Correct for neutrality. For those who chose the quail couple, you can hear them all over Sedona. They're cute. They run with their little, they've got their little crown, right? They're super cute. And they're always in a group, always in a family unit. That's what I said. I wanted to go where I had soul family, right? I'm tired of being by myself. Wisdom. Everything has a place. Everything has a purpose. To be wise is to have great love, tolerance, and compassion for all things. Correct for neutrality on all levels. We're doing this under an hour. What is it? And anything else? That one? Determination. Determination, perseverance, and patience will, patience will lead to a positive outcome. Oh my, there's another one. <laughs> I don't know why some, some there are and some there aren't. I don't know why. Some only have one, some have three, some have four. It is what it is. Fear. I am Archangel Michael, and I am here to help you through the present time. I love you. I protect you. I keep you safe. Trust that all is well. Accept my love and allow it to dissolve your fear. I love this because I worked with him last night and I was saying, you know, it, it, it sucks to be so exhausted and, and understand that somebody's broken back through my, my, my protection, right? So I need you. And so here he is. I love that. You need to have an open communication with your spiritual team. So somebody and I had a, uh, 
a discussion about this this morning and or this afternoon and they got upset and I wasn't quite sure why they got upset but I'll share it with you because sometimes people um, maybe it's the you don't have the tone of voice so you don't understand right it's a crow that said I'll kick your ass that's funny yeah the biker gang okay so the message was it was talking about love and empathy and uh, is it this one I'm gonna speak about it because they'll watch this video and maybe they'll understand it from a different perspective because sometimes we only see things from our perspective right okay we'll be the last one standing when the lights go out okay here it is so the, what I posted was communicate even when it's uncomfortable or uneasy one of the best ways to heal is simply getting everything out and so the person said communication is important and I said no it's vital and the person said yes love and commu communication is vital too and I said well if there was love communication would be easy and open right if you actually have love you are communicating openly and the person felt attacked and said thank you for your opinion and I laughed because I I'm like <laughs> you're welcome and then the person said love was everything they, they told the story of, about what has happened horrible things that had happened to this person right leaving them feeling afraid and, and in a very vulnerable place and I said that's awful that you live in such a toxic place or are connected to such toxic people but not quite sure what this has to do with the post about communication and the person said I said my feelings and they came out you don't need to worry I'll keep my feelings to myself then and my opinion it has everything to do with communication and love so then I said, I don't think the above is about communication and love. It's a bad movie or a horrible life. But then I thought about it and I went back and I looked at it, right? And I said, okay, I get it. What happened to you? It was horrible and it was something that this person needed to express. They needed to get it out. They needed to communicate that right then at that moment. I wasn't, I was thinking about what my post was, but this person said, this is what I'm carrying, right? And expressed it. And I said, you needed to get that out and express it, good. You shared it and maybe by looking at the words that you shared you might sh be shown what you might need to do for your own personal welfare right you're in, a not, in an unsafe environment you need to get the hell out of there you're around people that you shouldn't be around right it also helps and then I said it also helps to know that someone has heard you I heard you I hear you and you can calm down because you're safe now like they're not in that place right now and the person said well wow, thanks again for your opinion I've survived life and still surviving. I'm grateful. <laughs> and I thought, okay, I, I heard you. You're in a rotten place, and it's it, and you needed to express that. And I'm and I'm honored that you expressed it to me, right? Because you can't stuff that kind of stuff inside. Keep it stuffed inside. If you've been going along, living like that, and had no one to turn to, no one to talk to, no one even who gave a shit, right? What what? What did they say? Um, one of the greatest fundamental needs for a human being is to be heard. That somebody hears you and what you're going through. So that was, this person has grown a lot since I first connected with them. They never, they're getting very much stronger. I can feel their strength when I, when I hear them. So there was a misunderstanding, you know. I think that's what I was talking about. The person when I was in Sedona, we would, I, uh, we would email back and forth and, uh, I asked a question and I didn't get an answer and I was very excited to talk to them so I, I thought all right well forget that I guess they don't want to answer that one so I asked a different question and the response was I'm trying to express my feelings and you're asking me where I live and I said uh, and then obviously then came the explanation so I guess they were processing and trying to figure out what they wanted to express and felt like I was being flip or not you know <laughs> and and it was like going like this constantly right so kind of like that so I'm like okay I heard you you expressed it good communication right and I will let you know that we're going into mercury retrograde very soon again and I always get hit with the pre shadow period usually the the teachers and the leaders the empaths that are out there working get hit first because 
when everybody else is falling apart, we finally got it back together <laughs> because it's quite stressful, right? So it's all about communication and miscommunication. So be very, very careful that sometimes things are misunderstood and it's the tone of voice or you're, you're maybe thinking something different, right? I can't read your mind. I might be an intuitive person and I know you're not who you say you are, but I can't read your mind. So you're thinking this and I'm thinking that. And right now, the ambulance just went by. Hospital. Alert, alert, pay attention. Okay, I'll let you guys go. I'm gonna upload this. I love you. Hey, if anybody would like help with a private reading, my teaching, doing my videos and private readings are my favorite, favorite things to do. So um, we could delve deeper into your particular situation. So my website is www.theangelswhisper.com and my email address is sherrycolumbus at yahoo.com. Remember somebody was saying, um, give me your location. Well, there's a location you can find me at, right? It goes right to my phone. And uh, what else was I gonna say? If you like the way that I read and you enjoyed this video, please click like, subscribe, and share your comments and share the videos so that this can be spread. All right, talk to you soon.